Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am here with my sister Bridget. So today we're going to show you how to make one of our favorite things, maple curry pasta. So we'll show you exactly how to make that and we're just going to get started. So the first thing we're just going to do is boil water for the pasta. Today we are using 100% rice pasta. The vegetables that we're going to use in this today are red peppers and kale. Bridget is going to cut up the red peppers and then I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. I'm going to get like a medium sized pot and then I'll show you everything that I'm putting in the sauce. It doesn't even matter what order you put it in probably, I don't know. I'm just going to start with the almond butter because then you can easily um, mix everything up and it's not just like plunking a huge glob of nut butter into liquid because it's really hard to stir when you do that. Four tablespoons or a quarter cup of almond butter. You could probably use peanut butter too honestly but I'm allergic so this would be kind of like a peanut curry then. Um, while we're cooking we're actually having um, vegan chicken fingers that I mean, people think that, oh, you can show them. People think that like vegan meat is gross. This is what they look like. Let's pick up anything hot because when you're vegan and you're hungry, you have superpowers. So they just look like this, little vegan chicken fingers. Obviously they're not healthy, but who even cares? They taste good, so. Yeah. If you're not harming any animals, I don't really care what the fuck you I eat. I have a motto too. If it can't be vegan and healthy, it should just be vegan. If it can't be vegan and healthy, it should just be vegan. It tastes like I remember dino nuggets tasting. Yeah. Or like. <laughs> Anyways, back to the recipe. So, once you get your four tablespoons of nut butter in the pot, you want to do a cup of almond milk. Okay, so then after the cup of almond milk, you want to do a, two tablespoons of tomato sauce or tomato paste. And I'm going to put the full recipe in like the description box, so don't worry if this is like really confusing and hard to follow. Okay, so then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of tomato sauce. I just have this ginger paste that I got from the Asian grocery store, but you can use ginger powder or ginger, whatever, fresh ginger. Um, and I'm just doing like a quarter to a half teaspoon of that. So for the curry powder, this is really like personal preference I find. That's like one and a half slash two. I just kind of dumped it, but. You can taste it when it's done and obviously add more afterwards. Bridge is just going to pour in the pasta. So after you've added that, the last thing you need to do is add the maple syrup. So this also just depends how sweet you like it. I start with four tablespoons and then just taste it when it's done cooking and go from there. But I like mine really sweet and maple-y flavored, so. So now we're going to start cooking the vegetables. We always just cook our vegetables in water because, I don't know, it's not really necessary to use oil for that. So we're just gonna cook the red peppers first and then the kale will go in at the very end. I don't really need to show you how I cook my vegetables in water because I've shown it in like two videos already and it's pretty self-explanatory so just cook them until they're as soft as you'd like. I also just added some cubes of tofu to this pan just because I was feeling something a little bit extra. And then while that's going, I'm going to get the pot of sauce that we made and I'm just gonna start heating it on the back burner. So yeah, get that over here. Okay, so I just decided while we're waiting, we're gonna do a sister tag. How old are you both? Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, how old are you both? I'm she's, 20. No, I have to answer that. She's 21. Yeah, she she's... doesn't know how old I am. You're 18, I think. Yes? Describe each other in one word. A nice word. Oh, okay. Driven. Driven? Yeah. I've never been called that in my life. Okay, I would describe you as funny. Oh. <laughs> Do people ever get you mixed up? No. Not mixed up, but they definitely say we look They get us mixed up on the phone, but... Yeah. What is something that annoys you about one another? Oh, I think I know what annoys you about me. When I sing. Yeah. <laughs> that. And she's just like the classic older sister. The thing that annoys me about you is when you don't clean up after yourself and you don't do the dishes. Yeah, I couldn't get that from my life. What's it like being sisters with a YouTube guru? <laughs> okay, I'm not a YouTube guru. That's she's you not. Do. Do you but have... no, but she's always working on stuff. Well, not always, but a lot of the time working on stuff for YouTube. Okay, do you ever argue? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes, all the time. It's the best thing about one another. Bridge is extremely loyal and can always make people laugh. Liv always, always looks out for people. Um, I don't know how to explain it. What? No, like you just, you always look out for people and like if somebody needs to talk to you about something, you don't blow them off. You will send eight messages in a row. <laughs> like to try and make someone feel better or to try and brighten their day or something. You don't need that. You guys have anything matching? Uh, yes. yes. We have like... All of the same things. We literally have all of the same things. Like every time we try and go out somewhere, we come down wearing the same outfit. It's done or overdone? Overdone? <laughs> okay, put the lid on just for a minute. You want it steam? Then we will um, add the pasta and the sauce and then let it thicken. There you go. Ready? Okay. So then you're going to add the pasta. Now I'm just going to add this sauce. Damn. Oh my god. You think that you know what this is gonna taste like, but then when you taste it, it tastes even better than what you thought.